Mindstream, Wikipedia article audio. Mindstream in Buddhist philosophy is the moment to moment continuum of sense impressions and mental phenomena, which is also described as continuing from one life to another. Definition Etymology Sanskrit Tibetan Chinese, Korean, and Japanese Origins and Development Notes Sources Siddha S.A.A. Superscript 1 T.A. with diuresis N.A., literally the stream of mind, is the stream of succeeding moments of mind or awareness. It provides a continuity of the personality in the absence of a permanently abiding self, which Buddhism denies. The mind stream provides a continuity from one life to another, akin to the flame of a candle which may be passed from one candle to another. Indian Buddhists see the evolution of mind in terms of the continuity of individual mind streams from one lifetime to the next, with karma as the basic causal mechanism whereby transformations are transmitted from one life to the next. According to Waldron he mind stream increases gradually by the mental afflictions and by actions, and goes again to the next world. In this way the circle of existence is without beginning. The VA Sana S provide the karmic continuity between lives and between moments. According to Lust House, these Vasanas determine how one actually sees and experiences the world in certain ways and one actually becomes a certain type of person, embodying certain theories which immediately shape the manner in which we experience. Siddha holds the semantic field of that which is conscious, the act of mental apprehension known as ordinary consciousness, the conventional and relative mind-slash-heart. Siddha has two aspects. Its two aspects are attending to and collecting of impressions or traces cf vija plus or minus a n a. S a a superscript 1 t a with diuresis n a or santa n a holds the semantic field of eternal, continuum, a series of momentary events or life stream. Siddha is often rendered as sems in Tibetan and s a a superscript 1 t a with diuresis n a corresponds to rigyud which holds the semantic field of continuum, stream, and thread dash siddha saa superscript 1 ta with diuresis na is therefore rendered sems rgyud. Rgyud is the term that Tibetan translators employed to render the Sanskrit term tantra. Thugs rgyud is a synonym for sems rgyud thugs holds the semantic field, Buddha mind, 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 soul, spirit, purpose, intention, unbiased perspective, spirituality, responsiveness, spiritual significance, awareness, primordial, enlightened mind, heart, breast, feelings, and is sometimes a homonym of Siddha. Thugs Rigyad holds the semantic field wisdom, transmission, heart-mind continuum, mind, and nature of mind. The Chinese equivalent of Sanskrit Siddha Saa superscript 1 Ta with diuresis Na and Tibetan Sems Kyi Rigyud is Xin Xiongxu. According to the Digital Dictionary of Buddhism, Xan Xiongka superscript 1 means continuance of the mental stream, contrasted with Wa degree Xiongka superscript 1 CCC degree OE no continuity of the mental stream and Sha Xiongka superscript 1 ECC degree OE stream of consciousness. This compound combines XINA heart, mind, thought, conscience, core and Xiongxu succeed each other, with Xiang see each other, one another, mutual, reciprocal and su c degree o e or c continue, carry on, succeed. Thus it means thoughts succeeding each other. Xin Xiongxu is pronounced sim sang sok in Korean and shin sa. 
Zoku in Japanese. The notion of Siddhasanta Na developed in later Yogacara thought, where Siddhasanta Na replaced the notion of a lay avaha plus or minus a Na, the storehouse consciousness in which the karmic seeds were stored. It is not a permanent, unchanging, transmigrating entity, like the Atman, but a series of momentary consciousnesses. Lusthouse describes the development and doctrinal relationships of the store consciousness and Buddha nature in Yoga Cara. To avoid reification of the A Laya Vija plus or minus A N A. The logico epistemological wing in part sidestepped the critique by using the term Siddhasanta N A, mind stream, instead of A Laya Vija plus or minus A N A, for what amounted to roughly the same idea. It was easier to deny that a stream represented a reified self. Dermaka RTI wrote a treatise on the nature of the mind stream in his substantiation of other mind streams. According to Dharmakirta the mind stream was beginningless temporal sequence. The notion of mind stream was further developed in Vajraya Na, where mind stream may be understood as a stream of succeeding moments within a lifetime, but also in between lifetimes. The 14th Dalai Lama holds it to be a continuum of consciousness, extending over succeeding lifetimes, though without a self or soul.